You're doing amazing, babe. Uh, I really can't do this anymore. I love you, and you're gonna be an amazing mother. My babies are coming! <laughs> this is fun! Relax, babe. You did it, and I'm proud of you. Oh, this better be worth it. Of course it is. You gave birth to a flower and a jewel. My ruby and rose. I wonder who will have my eyes. <laughs> Blue like the ocean that I could stare into all day. Congratulations. You are amazing. Here are your two healthy twin girls. And we'll appreciate every moment that we spend with our girls. Thank you so much, Doc. It was my pleasure. And I hope you both have a happy day, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I wonder when they will open their eyes. No, oh, I hate babies that cry for no reason. Will you see why she's crying? Will you slow down? I have just become a mom. I don't know what to do with them. They aren't smartphones. Ugh, I'll just hold her. Hopefully that calms her down. There, there. Mom's here. She doesn't have blue eyes like yours. 79% of people worldwide have brown eyes. Rose is just... average. I hope my Ruby's eyes are blue like mine. Babe, look at her eyes. Sh she has blue eyes like mine. Oh, my sweet Ruby. Mama loves you. Haha, <laughs> and Dad loves you too. It's settled then. She is the perfect daughter. Our perfect daughter. Say, Mama! Mama! <laughs> that was a perfect first attempt, my princess. <laughs> Shh! Don't you dare cry! Look at Ruby! She's such a quiet baby! Hi, I am Rose. I know you're probably thinking, Wow, look at her mom and dad. Who does that? Unfortunately, this is how my life started as Baby Rose. Believe me, it gets worse. As you can already see, this is a family who takes pride in having a golden child. And what about me? Well, I'm the scapegoat. You're either a golden child or a scapegoat in the family. That's what I think. Ever since I was young, I laughed, cried, and said baby words in hopes I could get them to look at me. But no, it just wasn't my day to be a baby. I didn't even exist for them. Do you ever have those parents that look straight at you, but pretend to ignore your existence? At that end with a perfect, annoying sibling. And that's the story of my life. As the Powerpuff Girls saying goes, sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl, Ruby. Then, how could I ever get their attention? After all, I'm the chemical X. But I'm not in Ruby. Otherwise, I wouldn't be so desperate to have a shred of their love and luck. Oh, how I wish that was Ruby. Because I would get all their attention. Yes, I tried to be like Ruby. Yes, I copied what she did. Little did I know that she just had the magic to make mom and dad proud. But I really did try my best to make them happy and be proud of me. Yeah. No. Not, Not perfect. perfect. But my sweet Ruby is perfect. Oh, yes, you are. And there you have it. That just proves my sister is the best. East or West. Home is not the best. But then you will ask what's next. Watch till the end to find out what happens after.
you get a Barbie doll, a Hello Kitty plushie, a dollhouse, and... Mama! I want a Barbie doll because I want to show Barbie that I'm prettier than her! <laughs> Babe, what are you teaching her? That she is the prettiest and perfect, of course! And I'm going to get my perfect little Ruby her favorite dress! Will it be as pretty as yours, Mama? Even prettier than my dress, my sweet baby. But will it be a pink dress or a blue dress? <laughs> I'll close my eyes so surprise me. I wish I could wear something pretty like Ruby. Huh, definitely blue for my princess. Like bubbles from Powerpuff Girls. But doesn't she remind you of Supergirl from Justice League? Blue eyes, blonde hair? Was that a DC Universe reference? Marvel is where it's at. Ah, don't look at me with those eyes. Just get the $10 teddy bear that is on sale. R really uh, Okay, fine. We'll get you a teddy bear. But you have to stop looking at me like that, okay? Y yes uh, the best teddy bear in the mall. Do you love it, sweetie? Um... Dad? Stop it, Rose! You ungrateful child! I never taught you to disrespect your dad like that! You should be grateful that we buy you toys at all! It's okay, babe. And you! We're not done shopping for our Ruby, so come along. And Rose, stay right here. We will come get you. At least you both bought something for me. Mom... Dad, I'll treasure it forever. The years went by, and my sister's collection of toys and clothes grew. Her life became brighter than my future. Beautiful eyes, beautiful hair. If my parents had the money to buy the world for her, they would. I realized then that it's pointless to be my sister. I couldn't be her because... I am not her. I always tell myself that I will be like her one day to make me feel better. But the truth is, I can never be like my perfect sister. And the differences between us grew. What can go wrong, am I right? But call it a silly little dream. But a girl can hope one day, maybe one day, I... Listen, sis, don't be like, OMG, weird. <sighs> yes, sis, I know. I'm a stick in the mud and you're the swan of the lake, I get it. And did you do my homework? <sighs> yes, I did your math homework. Otherwise, mom would tell me off. <laughs> OMG, like seriously, everybody loves me. Your crush, Victoria, mom, dad. Stop rubbing it in my face. You forgot to say the magic word. Please, my queen. Ruby, girl! Hey, cutie! Mwah, mwah. Mwah. Who's she? Just my normal sister. Ew, normies! I didn't expect this from you, Ruby. <laughs> Not just any normie. I'll show you a cool trick. <clears throat> Bark, slave. Uh, I'm sorry, my queen. Gosh, girl, I love you, Ruby. You're like so fun. She always humiliates me regardless of my feelings. Why does everyone love her? She is so mean. Is it just because she's so pretty? <sighs> Nobody looks at me, and everyone ignores me when I am with her. I wish I had friends. But do you have to be pretty to have friends? Right, I, won't. See you soon, Mom. Oh, wow. I am proud of you, my little Ruby. <laughs> OMG, Mom! Like, stop! I'm not a little girl anymore! What? 
But it was only yesterday since I took you home when you were born. <laughs> Very funny, Mom. <sighs> and back to being ignored. Dad! <laughs> I'm home, my little princess. Welcome back, honey. The food will be on the table in five minutes. No need for that, honey, because we'll be going out to celebrate. <gasps> really, Dad? <laughs> yes, my angel. Are you ready for the whole world to see how pretty you are? <laughs> Dad, stop! <laughs> she is so shy around the subject of boys. That's because she's trying to talk to my crush. But I'm not gonna start drama. You've been selected for Brookhaven's Got Talent! Do you remember applying for it when you started school? Oh, how excited you were to sing then! To Mr. and Mrs. Smith, congratulations! Your daughter Ruby Smith has been chosen for the upcoming Brookhaven's Got Talent show! We look forward to seeing your daughter on stage. Brookhaven's Got Talent would also like to inform you that your family can walk away with a $5 million cash prize! Oh my god, Ruby! Yay, I'm so proud of you! What do you think, Ruby? Are you up for it? <laughs> now I have to win, Mama. Papa, oh, you're the best parents in the world! I'm going to make you proud. Just imagine my daughter being Brookhaven's best singer. I am so excited, Mom and Dad! My sister's beautiful voice shook Brookhaven and the internet. Everyone loved her performance. Obviously, she became one of the top 10 singers in Brookhaven after Brookhaven's Got Talent. So, of course, she won. Without a doubt, nobody can resist my beautiful sister. And if my parents didn't love Ruby already, now, they were obsessed with her. I didn't want to admit it, but they only care about Ruby. And me? Who was I? I admit, I don't like this change. <sighs> Mom, we had so many memories in our old house. Did we really have to move? Oh, shush, Rose. If you're going to open your mouth, say something nice. <laughs> Sis is jealous because she couldn't make you proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's silly. She can never make us proud. Okay. I see. I just don't see why we need a big house to be happy. Are you out of your mind, Rose? <laughs> Didn't they teach you that children should stay quiet when the adults are talking, Rose? Ugh, just go and clean my room, sis. Stop ruining the moment, like God. <sighs> Fine. What a stupid girl. I just wish she could be perfect, too. I'm, like, so embarrassed that she's my sister. Uh, just five more minutes. <sighs> Never mind. School sucks. Being at home sucks. Why can't I just sleep in and ignore all the noise in my head? I still miss my old home, but school beats home any day. Ugh, you're a sight for sore eyes. There will be no breakfast for you today, Rose. What? But, Mom! Tsk, tsk. You'll buy breakfast from the school cafeteria today. Why should I cook food for you? What have you done for us? Look at your sister! <sighs> I get it, Mom. Mm. 
She is just so boring. OMG. Oh, eat up, love. Your fans are waiting for you at school. I'm so proud of you. Bless me, my little Ruby. Ah! Oh my gosh, girl, you killed it! Oh, I was so nervous, bestie! <laughs> you, like, have to teach me to sing, please! <laughs> we can start our own band, bestie! Ugh, attention seeker. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! I should have seen where I was... You haven't changed one bit, Rose! K kyle I did want to bump... I didn't mean to bump into you. I have a class, so... Uh... Excuse me. We are literally in the same class, Rose. Why are you in a hurry? What's wrong? I don't want my sister and her mean friend to see us together. Are you scared of her? N no I'm not. You know you can tell me anything, right? Lately, I... I feel like you've been avoiding me. The truth is that... I... Hey, handsome. <laughs> he is like the hottest guy in school. You should totally ask him out. Um, hi. Oh, such a cutie. You don't need to be shy. I'm the queen of the school now. Huh? Like, oh my gosh, Kyle, did you not see her on TV? She is one of Brookhaven's top 10 singers. <clears throat> Rose, we aren't done talking. Uh, yes you are. Did you not hear that the queen is here? Uh, I'm not interested in you, Ruby. Did you just reject the Ruby? Oh my gosh, Kyle, you're dumb! Uh, Kyle, take that back! Kyle? That's crazy. You just rejected the perfect- Perfection doesn't exist, Rose. I'm not interested in Ruby. I'm interested in you. There's no such thing as perfect, but I think you're beautiful. Uh, what? <laughs> Her? She is like the most basic girl. <laughs> Are you like, hi, Kyle? You may be the prettiest girl, you may be an amazing singer, but you'll never accept others for who they are. And I'd hate to break it to you, but you'll always be stuck in your prison of being perfect. You're setting yourself up for disappointment. Because when something is good enough, then it's good enough. <laughs> what do you even see in my pathetic waste of a space sister? Her hair looks like mud, her clothes are so shabby, and she isn't... I... I have to go. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Finally, we get to be alone. Right? She must have gaslighted poor Kyle. For someone who claims to be perfect, your relationship with your sister isn't so perfect. Look at how far you've come. You're ugly. Oh, unbelievable! Rose is so dead. Oh, I hope I get to see you soon, Rose. Ugh! People can't stop following me at school! <laughs> you have to get used to it. Because a singer goes to Brookhaven School. Can you believe it? My sweet Ruby! But did you have a good day, my princess? Yes, and I... I had an amazing day! Huh? What happened today? Ugh. A boy told her that she was pretty, and she lost it today. She is such an immature girl. You expect too much from Rose. Nothing is prettier than my Ruby. You're the best, Mom and Dad. I love you both. But who is the boy that got Rose all excited? Ugh, can we, like, not talk about him? His name is Kyle. Duh, the hottest guy in school. And I think Rose likes him. <laughs> no wonder she is acting crazy. Ugh. I'll go check up on her. 
I hope we don't get our cuties. I can't believe Kyle called me pretty. And he defended me in front of my sister. I shouldn't have left him there. I can't wait to hang out with him tomorrow. I want to hang out with him. He makes me feel comfortable. Aww, look who has a crush. R Ruby? You're lucky I'm not a snitch. But look at you, already forgetting your manners. Call me queen. Didn't they teach you to knock? <laughs> a queen doesn't have to knock. Also, mom and dad know you like him, so like, just stop being a drama queen. I mean, why would I gossip about your love life with everybody? Hey! Oh, b -b 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 shush, hun. I really gotta go now. You know, I'm a busy girl. Laters! And there goes my love life. Ugh, great. Now the whole school will know and laugh at the ugly girl. What was I even... Perfection doesn't exist, Rose. I'm not interested in Ruby. I'm interested in you. I'm not ugly. I'm pretty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hope I can see Kyle at school today. I'm so excited, Kyle. She should definitely take part in the next Brookhaven's Got Talent. My girl can do whatever she wants. I'll always support her. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, my... Good morning, Mom. And who was talking to you? I really don't care, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. She is getting weirder. She is trying to be like Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I packed your lunch. Now off you go. Mwah. Her girls aren't girls anymore. They grow up so fast. Uh, shoot. I forgot where Kyle usually is. Guess I... Oof. <laughs> we have to stop meeting up like this. S sorry for running into you again. Yuck. So, uh, want to meet up after school? Get some ice cream? I... Uh, I would love to. It's a date, then. A, a date? I... But don't flirt with him. Uh, don't even worry about it. I hate guys nowadays. <laughs> but I hope today's class isn't boring. <laughs> Let's just stare at the cute boys. I... Huh? Where did everyone go? I hope I'm not late for class. Oh my gosh, he was so cute! <laughs> Your boyfriend didn't even look at me. <laughs> they say love is blind. Guess it's true. Look, it's Kyle. <sighs> My stupid sister has a date with him. No way. Your sister got a boyfriend before you? Eek. Sorry 
if I kept you waiting. <laughs> well, I hope you didn't get detention. <laughs> but I did have to listen to a one-hour lecture on being late. Shall we? Yes, please. Rose, how dare you get a boyfriend before me? Let's see how long it lasts. I wish I could say life was perfect with Kyle, even though it was just beginning. We started hanging out after school, and I always had a dumb smile on my face. But the day we had ice cream together changed our relationship. I wanted to take things slow, and I will never forget our first kiss. Yes, we started dating. I would feel lucky if I started dating my high school crush, wouldn't you? I didn't want my happy feelings to end. I wish I could hold on to my happiness forever. But we all know that nothing lasts forever. I was having the time of my life, but my sister? She became the green goblin in my life. She couldn't stand the fact that she was the only popular girl in school without a boyfriend. So, you can imagine her jealousy when she saw Kyle kiss me at school. But then one day... I really hope she says yes. Everything's been good between us so far. Great. Hey, handsome. What do you want? You're still being mean to me after I came all this way just to say hi to you? Huh. <laughs> oh yeah? I'm already waiting for someone, so... Are these flowers for me? Oh, you're so sweet, Kyle. Huh? There is no way on earth where I... Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Kyle, I'm so sorry for being like. Huh? Rose, this isn't what it looks like. We can talk about this. I trusted you. Oh, babe, it's okay. I'm here for you. Just shut up, Ruby. You know I've always loved you, babe. Just shut up. <laughs> You're the worst, Ruby. It hurts so much. Rose! I finally found you! I've been searching all day- You cheated on me! Rose, give me a chance to explain. Please. What? That you like my sister more? You wouldn't be the first or the- I told you that I love you, Rose. And I meant it. Then why did you and Ruby- oh, She forced a kiss on me when I was waiting for you in the theater. I said no, but she knows that I love you, and she just took the flowers and thought- I... I... I am so, so sorry for doubting you, Kyle. I... I thought I was gonna lose you. <laughs> You're never going to lose me. I love you, Kyle. <laughs> I should have given you a chance to explain. <clears throat> but Rose... There's something you need to know. Yes, Kyle? So, we've been dating for almost a year, and... You're not bored of me, right? I was thinking if... Rose Smith, will you be my wife? Oh! Oh my 
gosh, Kyle, yes! Yes, I will be your wife! <laughs> she took him from me, Mom! My boyfriend! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll fix everything. And where do you think you are going? My room. Because that's where I always go when I come home. Care to explain why you hurt Ruby by stealing Kyle from her? Huh? Kyle is my boyfriend, and she tried to take him away from me. Excuses, excuses! You and your excuses! Honey, calm- Shame on you for lying, Rose! You're not going to see Kyle again! I'm tired of always being treated like this. Oh, Rose, be like Ruby. Oh, Rose, you're so weird. Oh, Rose, I wish you were perfect. And I am magically always the problem. Enough is enough, Rose. You are not- No. And I have had enough of- Go to your room this instant, Rose. I am tired of not being loved like my sister. I'm tired of you both never talking to me. And I'm tired of- I said enough is enough. Oh, I'm sorry, sis, but Kyle is mine now. I have been thinking about this for a long time, Rose. Your dad and I have decided to disown you. We don't need you anymore. We have- I hate you all. Have, have you always, always been, been unfair, unfair to her? Bye. Here, let me help you. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be alright. They kicked me out of the house for good. I won't leave your side. How could my sister do this to me? She told them that you were her boyfriend. She is gross. I hate her. But you're welcome to stay at my place for as long as you like. My parents are out for vacation at Bloxburg. Thank you so much, Kyle. <laughs> Saying thank you all the time is a bad habit, you know. Since you're here, Netflix and chill? <laughs> yeah, can we watch Aladdin? I thought you were a Beauty and the Beast type. Okay, I'll get the popcorn. I am so grateful that Kyle accepted me into his life. He was there for me when I needed him the most. But I miss my parents. I miss my sister too. Home wasn't the same without me. My parents and my sister both missed me. I didn't believe it at first, but... My sister surprised me. She got him Brookhaven's Got Talent. With my parents, they apologized in public. They wanted me to live with them again. All I ever wanted was their love. But I don't know if I can ever live at home again after everything that has happened to me. Are those your parents on TV? Oh, so now they are sorry. After they kicked me out of the house themselves. Rose, your parents and sister got on TV to say sorry. Shouldn't you give them a chance and hear them out? They just want me back so they can laugh at me. But you miss your family and they miss you too. I'll always be by your side. <sighs> I guess I'll give them one last chance. Shall we again? Bye, December! I, 
I'm so sorry, Rose. Hey, sis. Rose? You came back! I couldn't leave my sister alone. I am so sorry, Rose. I missed you. Who are you talking to? R Rose? My sweet baby. Mom? I'm so glad you came back. And I'm so sorry for how I treated you. Darling, look who's back! It wasn't the same without you, my dear Rose. Excuse me, I hope I'm not interrupting the Smith family. Me and Rose are... Dating! Dad? What? How? When? <clears throat> Ruby told us about your... Gosh, I just like her too. Ruby! My life at home finally changed. My sister accepted me for who I am. My parents started to love me. My life at school also changed for the better. Victoria stopped bullying me. The whole school found out that I was dating Kyle. Embarrassing. But after a few days, I married the love of my life, Kyle. Soon, I became a mom, and Kyle became a dad. We learn from each other that life may carry us apart, but together, we remain in each other's hearts. Family means that nobody gets left behind or forgotten. <laughs>